because, because we are a techie campaign, uh, our next questioner is also from the teleconference uh, that we do, a tele town hall, uh, Barry Lawton. Hi, Congressman. Hey, back. Uh, I hope this isn't a row for undecideds because I'd be in the wrong row. <laughs> I decided when you decided. <laughs> I am, a, I am a history teacher from East Boston High School, your district. And uh, I want to bring up a little history. I first want to say John Kennedy said that the only valid test of leadership is the ability to lead and lead vigorously. And I think you have done that on many issues, which is why I support you. Um, now, as a history teacher, um, and, and, and right now I'm in the period of teaching the, uh, the Great Depression and, and how we got out of that. Um, programs like the CCC, programs that took young people who were idle in the cities uh, and had them do things across the nation that mitigated some of our problems, whether it was fighting forest fires, whether it was building break walls, whether it was building national parks. We have that need today. Our infrastructure across this country uh, is crumbling. What would you think uh, about an idea of taking these young, idle people? Back then, it was just idle young men. Now, it would have to include women, for sure. Um, about bringing them out, not just generating jobs, because not all jobs are easily generated. But there are some that are out there right in front of us, where we can pull these young people um, out of the cities, put them in new environments, give them an opportunity to learn about personal responsibility, um, get some training, and also help our nation. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, Barry, that I was one of the guys, when we did the stimulus bill, I was one of the members of the House that worked very hard to try to punch up the amounts of money that were dedicated to creating new jobs. We did a decent job on some things. We saved a lot of jobs right here in this Commonwealth, over tens of thousands of teaching jobs alone plus firefighters and cops and DPW workers. And I, I actually do think, I think that saving a job is just as important as creating a job. Uh, otherwise, the economy continues to slide. We didn't do as good a job in creating more jobs because everybody got nervous. Everybody said, well, geez, it's tough times. This is a big bill. You can't do any more. My argument is, in tough times, you have to do more. It's the only way we got out of the Depression. It's the only way. About a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, there was a, a forum at the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce, 500 business leaders in a room. And the four candidates were there. And at one point, they asked about job creation in the economy. And I asked for a show of hands. These are all the business leaders in Eastern Massachusetts. I said, I'd like to see a show of hands. How many of you expect to hire more people in the next six to nine months? And of the 500 people, only about 15 raised their hands, which we kind of knew all this, but that was really definitive on it. If that's the case, which we all know it is, private enterprise hasn't got access to the capital, it hasn't got access to the markets because we're all doing the same thing with the money that we do have. Even those with us with jobs are holding back. We're all concerned we might lose our jobs, so we're hoarding. And that's normal, that's natural, that's to be expected. The only way to move that forward is for the federal government to take action, and take dramatic action, to get people to work, to get people stable in the jobs that they have, and to move forward and to get young people the hope that they need when they get out of school, they will have a future like we had. Absent that, this depression, recession, whatever it is you want to call, is going to last way too long, and people are going to get a little angry. And I would say rightfully so. I don't think properly placed anger is a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. And if we cannot kickstart this economy, I would argue that it has to be a good cause to get angry and a good cause to throw people out of office.